Kota Ibushi is done with New Japan Pro Wrestling. There's some big news that is honestly going to cause shockwaves throughout the entire wrestling world as one of the biggest stars in the entire world is now a free agent. This according to New Japan Pro Wrestling themselves who released the following statement here and I quote, with the conclusion of its contract period on January 31st, 2023, Kota Ibushi has departed New Japan Pro Wrestling. Ibushi has been recovering from an injury since October 2021. We apologize to Ibushi fans for the abrupt announcement and join them in wishing Ibushi the best in all his future endeavors. So there you saw it. There you heard it. Future endeavored. He got future endeavored. Uh, by the way, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever a new video is released. But Kota Ibushi, officially now done with New Japan Pro Wrestling, coming on the same day we hear the news of Ibushi's return to the ring actually being in GCW, Game Changer Pro Wrestling, and it's crazy. It is absolutely nuts. Kota Ibushi will be making his uh, Game Changer Wrestling debut on uh, during WrestleMania weekend at their Hollywood shows out there during that weekend. They got Josh Barnett's uh, Bloodsport, and they have Joey Janela's Spring Break, which is always a fun time. But this is massive. Uh, we have been... This is honestly a domino that I think people have been waiting to drop for a while now. Obushi, of course, has not wrestled since 2021. Then last year, there the the problems between him and New Japan Pro Wrestling became more toxic and and more uh, public in that Obushi was actually making accusations against very serious accusations, by the way, against certain people, certain executives in the company. And that led to a massive rift, obviously. He has not been really referenced. He has not been seen on New Japan. And now we have this, which is, I think a lot of people expected this. A lot of people expected Ibushi to leave New Japan. They didn't really expect, I think, Game Changer Pro Wrestling to be his first, or Game Changer Wrestling to be his first uh, spa, uh, stop. But there we have it. WrestleMania weekend, you might as well make a big splash. And you're not going to go to Ring of Honor's show that weekend, right? You're going to go to GCW, which is a nice upstart company, trying to get your name out there amongst the more hardcore wrestling fans. That's fine. That being said, Kota Ibushi was, even when he did the Cruiserweight Classic, right? By the way, I'm using pictures from the Cruiserweight Classic, so you can't copyright this, TV Acai. Um, but even when he was doing the Cruiserweight Classic, a lot of people in WWE wanted Ibushi to be with the company. They wanted to sign him. They'd made a massive push to sign him. He ended up staying over with New Japan, which is fine. But now I think you're going to see a bidding war for a bit of a bidding war for this guy. But the only question is how much is Triple H going to value him as far as where he is in his career now. Bushi's, of course, 40 years old, which in pro wrestling, really, at this point, it's it's like you're, you're a spring chicken if you're 40. You're, you're, you're hitting your, you're still in your prime if you're 40 years old. Look at AJ Styles. The dude is like 45, and he's still one of the best wrestlers in the world. But Kota Ibushi is someone who, when you think about it, he's got those ties with WWE because he did awesome in the Cruiserweight Classic, and they pushed him very very hard in the Cruiserweight Classic. They like they positioned him to win that tournament. The only reason that he didn't win was because he didn't end up signing a long-term deal with the company. But then you have the flip side. Then you have AEW, All Elite Wrestling, the company that was founded by his uh, former tag team partner in Kenny Omega, or partially founded by his former tag team partner in Kenny Omega. The Golden Lovers are two of the, are, are, are two of the most... Uh, decorated and and just beloved people there ever were in New Japan Pro Wrestling, him and Kenny Omega. So there's a lot to be valued there. I don't know how much the relationship or lack thereof between New Japan Pro Wrestling and Kota Ibushi currently is going to affect that. And, and considering AEW does have that relationship with New Japan, but 
I don't think it's really going to matter at the end. I mean, worst case, he might not work Forbidden Door, but he'll work everything else, wouldn't he? Like, he would. And, and that's a guy who you could push as not just, you know, a TV champion guy, a tag team guy. That is a guy you could push to the main event. That's how good Kota Ibushi is. This dude has classic matches with just an un like a, like an ungodly number of people. He's one of the most talented people in the world. And on top of that, he's got history with the elite who I know there are a lot of elite haters out there, but they're still probably the most popular thing in the entire company. So a lot to be a lot to happen here, a lot of stories to be told. It's just a matter of where Kota Ibushi wants to end up. Maybe he won't do anything. Maybe he'll just work indies, uh, like be, do a bit of a freelance vibe thing for a little bit, and then end up going back to New Japan. That's also very possible. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Where will Kota Ibushi end up? Who will he be wrestling with over this next however long he's going to be doing this? And what are you looking forward to most? Let me know in the comment section below. Be sure to hit that like button if you haven't already done so. Subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever a new video is released.